in one of the residential areas on the fringes of Nairobi. The harm of sewing machines welcomes us in. At a glance, it may not seem like much, but this house is a critical stage for a remarkable transformation journey for the occupants, a journey that began with Rosemary a war in 2005. And that was when I had finished my tailoring course that was sponsored by World Vision at PCEA in Italy. So I have finished that college. I was excited giving a sewing machine. I was to go and start my own business. But when I took my sewing machine back home, I started getting some little complications like coughing that does not even stop. It is a, a long-term thing. Rosemary was found to be HIV positive, but she found support in a local organization that encouraged living positively with the virus. While they would be given food and other aid, Rosemary was uncomfortable with the dependence, but she had made a friend. So I used to ask her about how she, she thinks of her future, but all of us had only one future, that we are going to die the next day. So before the death, we, she, she had to know my house, I had to know her. So when she came to visit me, she found that I'm, uh, I'm more wealthier than her because I was having a sewing machine. <laughs> Rosemary shared her sewing skills and soon more people got interested. About five of them formed a self-help group, Tuinuke Natwendele Mbele, Swahili for Arise and Prosper. Their work was initially poor quality because of a lack of training, but a competition in 2012 changed their lives. They won a cash prize of 150 US dollars and bought more sewing machines. We have gone through a lot of trainings with World Vision, the value addition, the quality management, the quality check, and we have the quality manager here. Whenever you make a product, if it is not worth, she just looked at it and then she asked you, go back. The Tuinuke group has set itself apart from many others in more ways than one. But perhaps what's more unique about this group is the use of recycled materials for their products. Take for instance, this beautiful bag. It's purely made of recycled plastic bags burned recently by the Kenyan government. And then we have this sling bag, very comfortable to use, made from recycled sacks, very common here in Kenya. Next, we have this colorful table mat, all of it made from bottle tops. And to cap it all, this beautiful necklace, it's made from old calendars. Most of these products find their way to countries like Finland, Italy, Japan and Canada. 13 years down the line, Tuinuke has grown to a membership of 3,000. They have now registered a community-based organization. We do a lot of a lot of market research, a lot of partnering and networks, and also in our brochure we give our directions and uh, where we are, the contacts, so that people can do follow us. The women are now economically independent and are doing their share of social responsibility. Who can remember the password to help the fellow? They have incorporated a children's club where children are trained on various skills. They also mentor young women in the slum while educating them on HIV and living positively. Penina Karibe, CGTN, Nairobi, Kenya.